From the fall chill of Kentucky, it was back to the warmth of South Florida for the 1992 edition. Sheik Albadu returned to defend his title at Gulfstream in the sprint, but the favorite was Rubiano, the top sprinter in the East. Sprint. And they're off! And Rubiano came out like a rocket! And Mia Farah is also right there with 30 slews in between those two. But it's the Philly Mia Farah who takes the lead. 30 slews is now running second. Arrowtown toward the inside third. Cardmania fourth. Sheik Albadu is fifth. LBO sixth toward the inside. Super Strike is seventh on the outside. He's about seven lengths from the lead. Grace Loopy is running eighth. Mr. Brooks is down on the inside. He's ninth. Furiously is tenth, and he's in behind horses. Rubiano is eleventh, but he's clear of trouble on the outside. Salt Lake is twelfth. Canadian King Corey is 13th, and the late running Senior Speedy trails the field. A dazzling opening quarter here of 21 and 3, and the Philly Mia Farrow flaunting her speed as they come to the top of the stretch. She leads by two. Elvio is putting in a run toward the inside. 30 slows is set down for the drive. Sheikh Al Badu is coming with his run down the center of the racetrack. Then Super Strike Rubiano's eight lengths from the lead, and it's Mia Farrow leading the way. 16th to come, 30 slows, her only challenger, Mia Farah to the home, 30 slows, surges to victory, it's 30 slows who wins by an act, Mia Farrow is again second, and Rubiano was third, and the time was 108 and 1. Entering the final turn, Mr. Brooks had fallen, and concern for the condition of the riding legend, Lester Piggott, overwhelmed interest in the outcome of the race as he was taken to the hospital. It was the first serious injury to a jockey in the history of the Breeders' Cup. He would recover from a broken collarbone to ride the following year. For the winning 30 slews who had missed most of the year with injuries, the performance capped an outstanding comeback. Alan Paulson was the half owner of Arazi. Paying a high compliment, he called Eliza, sent off at 6-5 to five in the juvenile fillies, his female Arazi. The opening quarter went to 23 seconds flat. There goes Eliza. Pat Valenzuela can hold her no more, and she rushes to the lead with a half mile to run here. And solid fractions the half in 47 seconds flat, and Eliza's pulling away to a two-length lead. Educated Risk trying to come after her now, and there goes Educated Risk as they round the far turn. And those two in a confrontation play round the turn. Five lengths back to Zuna Pose running third. Super Gem is putting in a run toward the inside. Then Bully on the outside. And Boots and Jackie, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. And Eliza's put to a drive. Educated Risk is right at her throat as they've straightened away into the stretch. And Valenzuela goes to work on Eliza. And Eliza is responding. Educated Risk is full out. Boots and Jackie is closing third. It was a great moment for Alan Paulson. Under confident handling by Pat Valenzuela, Eliza's victory was easier than the one-length margin indicated. In the distaff, the five-year-old mare Passiana was dominant earlier in the year, but two recent losses made her second choice in the betting to the New York three-year-old filly, Saratoga Dew. And Passiana has taken the lead under a cool and confident Chris McCarron. It's Passiana in front as they turn for home. Bout is all out trying to get to her. Saratoga Glue couldn't keep up. Light Light is in with the chance. Magical Maiden is there on the outside. Marling is still in heavy traffic. But it is Passiana running away from them. Four lanes clear. Five lanes clear. Spectacular stretch five. Versailles Treaty is second. Magical Maiden third. Trainer Ron McAnally's mare had returned to her top form. The $200,000 spent by owners Sid and Jenny Craig to supplement her to the race was money well spent. Passiana showing her championship form in the distance. A disappointing favorite in the Kentucky Derby, Arazi was back to redeem himself as the favorite in the mile. And they're off. 
Lotus Pool show speed. Lure is right there from the inside in 49er days. And there goes Luthier Enchanteur to grab a lead under the line the first time. Three of them now vying for the lead. It's Lure toward the inside now, grabs a short lead. On the outside, 49er days pressing. Luthier Enchanteur backs off. Arazi is up close, and he hugs the hedge, saving ground all the way. Four stars, all-star is running fifth in between horses. Paradise Creek is sixth in gaining ground on the outside. Exit to nowhere is seventh, about seven lengths from the lead. Thunder Region is eighth. Selkirk is ninth toward the inside. Lotus Pool is running in tenth. Then Cardoon and Bistro Garden. Brief Truce is second to last, and the trailer is Val Dubois. Fifteen lengths from Lure, who blazes the way up the backstretch. He got an opening quarter in 22 and 4, and a come and get me half in 45 and 4. They're a half mile out, and Lure leads the way. 49er days right there. Luthier on Chanteur on the outside. He's right there running in third. Arazi is only two lengths from the lead as they enter the far turn. Four stars, all star is right alongside Arazi. Then it's uh, Paradise Creek and Selkirk, who's in behind a wall of horses. Exit to nowhere's in cramped quarters, but they have to catch Lure as they turn for home. He spurts away from the field by four. Luthier Enchanteur is now running second, 49er days. Arazi does not have it. Paradise Creek on the outside. Lure running a huge race this afternoon. He's in front by four. Brief Truce is coming fast, but he's coming too late. Lure does it in front running style. He won by three. Paradise Creek second, followed by Brief Truce. Arazi had disappointed again, but Lure switched to the turf late in the season, broke from the rail, and had too much speed for this field. A winner on both coasts and in Chicago, Gilded Time was a deserving two-to-one favorite in the juvenile. Moving toward the top of the stretch, it is a river special in front by a head. Gilded Time is right at his neck on the outside. Capanostro is bravely running in third. Secret odds toward the inside. Then Sea Hero, it's a little-known fact, was fanned seven wide into the stretch. And it is Gilded Time and River Special. And River Special stubbornly at the inside. Gilded Time on the outside is Resolute. It's a little-known fact is closing fast. But it is Gilded Time. Gilded Time, it's a little-known fact. Gilded Time, undefeated and a champion. David Milch, a producer of Hill Street Blues, had seen his horse, Gilded Time, go undefeated as a two-year-old. It was a moment of which owners dreamed. Open him up, Chris. Open him, Chris. Now, come on, now, Chris. Now, Chris. Now, Chris. Now, now. Hang on, hang on. We got it. For Chris McCarron, his third Breeders' Cup win. Canada's Sky Classic was a force to be reckoned with in the turf. He had five wins in two seconds and seven starts leading up to the race and was the only odds-on favorite of the day. They've run three quarters in one, 11 and two fifth seconds. And the big favorite, Sky Classic, right there in behind the lead. He's yet to make his run as they move into the far turn. Solar Splendors toward the inside. The arc winner, Sabatica, is in perfect striking position on the outside. The cadence quickens and the duel intensifies on the turn. And Navarone surges to the lead midway around the far turn. And Sky Classic has a clear aim to him as they move toward the top of the stretch. Sabatica is on the outside third. Daros is done and Fraze moves into contention. Navarone turns for home in front with Sky Classic running by him. Sky Classic takes the lead, but Fraze is coming up the inside and Quest for Fame is closing third. Sky Classic fully extended. Fraze on the inside and Fraze lifts Sky Classic in the last stride of the Breeders' Cup turn. Fraze was last after a half mile, but got up to gain the decision by a nose. A $2.9 million yearling, AP Indy, had won the Belmont Stakes and Santa Anita Derby earlier in the year. To win Horse of the Year, he would have to reverse a loss to the five-year-old Pleasant Tap in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. In the game, and they are off in the ninth. Breeders Cup Classic, and AP Indy breaks well today. He comes out running for the lead. Jolie's Halo with good speed as well. Defensive play is there toward the inside. Thunder Rumble is up close to a strong early pace here as they race by the stands for the first time. It's Jolie's Halo and Thunder Rumble, and those two hook up in an early duel. Defensive play is in behind him. 
Sultry Song is now moving into third. Technology is four wide, running in fourth. Then toward the inside, defensive play is fifth. AP and D is running sixth. Jalifa is a wide seventh. Zoman is up close to an early pace. Marketry is there on the outside. And then it's Pleasant Tap. He's running now in 11th position. He's only about eight lengths from the early lead. European Rodrigo Di Triano's to his outside. Then it's five lengths to Rain Road. And far, far behind is Strike the Gold. He's already 20 out of it. And the half went in 45 and 4. A sizzling pace here as they move into the backstretch. Thunder Rumble is pressed hard under intense pressure from Jody's Halo. Technology is trying to keep pace in third. Defensive play is right there now, racing in fourth position. Sultry Song is fifth. Zoman is only five lengths from the lead. Jolifa's moving strongly as they move into the far turn. AP and he's dropped back in the pack. Pleasant Tap is in between horses. Now he's still about seven lengths from the lead. And then it's Marquetry as they're on the far turn. And Thunder Rumble rolls to a two-length lead now. Defensive play has moved in toward the inside. Jolie Salo's in an all-out drive. He's working hard to keep up. AP Indy is finding his best stride. And he's moving powerfully in between horses as they move toward the top of the stretch in this ninth Winners Cup Classic defensive play. Thunder Rumble still there. AP Indy's in an all-out drive. And Pleasant Tap is coming with giant strides on the inside. They're coming to the finish. It is AP Indy in front. Pleasant Tap, one last run at him. AP Indy wins the Breeders' Cup Classic by three conclusive lengths. They finished 1-2 as expected, but this time it was AP Indy over Pleasant Tap. The three-year-old on his way to Horse of the Year as the sun set on another Breeders' Cup day at Gulfstream Park.